Eagle on EA Sports, and we've got a showdown in the NFC South. We can hardly wait for the start of this one, and it comes your way next. Let's go, boys. First opened in 1975, resurrected in 2006, we welcome you inside the Caesars Superdome, the home of the Saints here in downtown New Orleans. Set for a good matchup in the NFC South. So glad you were with us, Mike Tirico, Greg Olson. Greg, this is a division you know a lot about, and the rivalries within this division always kind of gives you a good game when it's NFC South against NFC South. Yeah, and this is a division, Mike, that I've lived in for a long time in my career. And at one point, you can make the argument that it was the best division in football. But right now, it's the quarterback uncertainty. Do we have the quarterback of our future? Did we just draft one? Did we just sign one? What does that look like? Two of the four teams, brand new coaches taking over control to start this season. No division won fewer games last season. They've got a lot of work to do before this division can hold the candle to some of the others we see throughout the NFL. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drop. So the Saints ready to go to work on offense for the first time. They'll be let out by a fifth-round selection out of the 2024 draft from South Carolina by way of Oklahoma. It's Spencer Rattler. And here we got a guy, Mike, that was a bit of a polarizing prospect going through this year's draft process. I mean, on the field, there's no mistake in it. He could flat-out play. He can make all the throws. He operated that offense down in South Carolina at a really high level. The question is, there were some off-the-field concerns, a couple personality issues that seemed to leak out through some different media reports. With all that being said, whatever's true, whatever's not, if he can match his potential with his on-field performance, he's got a shot to be a starter in this league. Nice example there, Mike, of the quarterback just being smart with the ball, understanding it didn't quite develop the way he had intended. Throw that ball out of harm's way, live to play another down. Rattler now back to throw. That'll be caught. It's Alvin Kamara. In danger of an opening three and out. They face third and ten. To throw, it's Rattler. He's got room past the 35. They get 12 yards on that pass. First down, New Orleans. That's already two catches for this guy, and we haven't even seen him hand the ball to him yet, and that's really what these running backs have become in the league. They're really just all-around weapons, and if the ground game's not working, you can go to the air, and vice versa. The more times this guy touches the ball, the better it is for this offense. Throwing is Rattler. The reception for Rashid Shaheed. A nice throw there by the rookie, and he earns his guys a first down. Well, I think it's pretty clear what the week's plan was, and that was to get the quarterback in a rhythm right out of the gate through the passing game. They've essentially ignored the ground game up until this point. You got to imagine as the game unfolds, they'll sprinkle in some runs. But so far, it's been their passing game to get this game started. And that last one results in a first down. Just take what the defense is giving you. When you can stay ahead of the chains and just take these easy pitch and catch throws underneath, hitch routes, quick game, now it puts you in a lot more favorable down and distances to eventually attack this defense a little bit more downfield. On the ground for the first time, this is Alvin Kamara. And he will work this down inside the 40. That's going to be good enough to move the chains. First down. Throwing now is Rattler. This one on target to Olave. 
and he's close to another first down as he's brought down just shy of the marker. Here's second and two. On the ground, it's Kamara. The defense all over this one. They get him behind the line of scrimmage. A loss of a couple. Second and two, you're thinking, I got two downs to get two yards. How hard can that be? Well, against this defense, it turns out to be a big challenge. They take you back for a loss of two, and now you find yourself on third down. Looking to throw, Rattler. Now a short one caught by the tight end, Johnson. And the defense can't come up with a stop there. Gain a seven and a first down. Everyone always assumes that you only want to run drag routes or crossing routes just underneath like mesh concepts against man coverage. But so often they're equally as effective against the zone. All it takes is one of those underneath man defenders to latch on to the wrong route. And all of a sudden there is a lot of room, not only for the completion, but for yards after the catch. With how fast they were all over that play, you almost wonder, Mike, was there a pre-snap tell? Did they know that play was coming? Because I'll tell you, that defense was on it from the start. Lost one on the last play, so now it's second and 11. Olave is the motion man. Here's Rattler. His pass taken in by Shahid. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. A lengthy opening drive. Now comes to this. It is third down. Now Rattler going to throw. This is caught at two. And he will score. Jawan Johnson. Touchdown, New Orleans. A terrific way to start this one. Not only a touchdown, but a nice... Long march down the field makes it a long walk back to the bench for the defense. Mike, that's about as good as you can imagine starting a game offensively to be able to sustain that many plays and be able to cap it off with a touchdown. That is a dream start for this offense. Blake Groupie comes on for the extra point. He's got it. And the Saints will take a 7-0 lead. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away this will be returned from the six and this will work out quite well he'll get it all the way out to the 30 yard line the Buccaneers led out by their quarterback Baker Mayfield he was in Cleveland and Carolina and then with the Rams but now year two and it feels like he's found a home Greg here with the Buccaneers I don't know about you, Mike, but my biggest takeaway from our meeting with him was just how important it is that they get off to a fast start. He made it very clear. They wanted to put their opponent on their heels right from the jump. So I think early in this game, they're going to come out swinging right from their opening whistle. Here's Baker to begin with a pass. Down the field, it's Evans. They will bring him down on the other side of midfield. So you come back out here after watching the opposing team score first. And what you want to do is you got to establish a little early rhythm and get the drive started. Every offensive coordinator has drive starters, meaning it's a completion. It's a run play that we feel great about. It's a screen. Get a little positive energy into that huddle. And what hopefully starts out good ends with you being able to get some points of your own. 
And a short gain there, down only to the 48. Here's second and nine. From the gun, it's Mayfield. This one caught left side by Evans. And he's going to be dropped after a pickup of about five. Here's a third down and four. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. To the left side, to Godwin. And he's going to have enough for a first down. He's out of bounds after a gain of five. To throw is Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. And they bring him down, but not until they get inside the 30-yard line. And he's come out of the game on fire here, Mike, early. He's yet to throw an incompletion on this opening drive. And as he now approaches the opponent's side of the field and they start thinking points on that other sideline, this defensive play caller has to be looking at that call sheet saying, what can I do to slow this guy down? Because with the way this game has started, he could be in for a big day. He finds his tight end, Keith. And he'll be taken down rather swiftly after a gain of just three. They face second down and seven. Here comes Otten in motion. Second down throw for Mayfield. Get this complete right side to Otten. Third down, three to go. Baker to throw. He's got his man, right side, it's complete. And he's going to have the first down. It is a gain of six. Good conversion on third down. Nice play here by Rashad White. And I'll tell you, I had a chance to call one of his games late last year. And what really stands out is he is very comfortable when being used in the passing game. And finished last year fourth amongst all NFL running backs, finishing with 64 receptions. Under pressure, and down he goes. They got him. Feels like they needed that sack. This entire drive, it feels like the defense was really on their heels. The offense was taking it to them really however they wanted to. So to be able to take a deep breath now, disrupt the rhythm of the drive by getting that sack, that might go a long way now to allow them to get off the field. Work to do now as they come up on second and long. Baker going to hand it to White. He'll get about three, and that's going to lead to third down. So they'll talk over what to do on this third down play as we have hit the end of the first quarter. The Saints out on top. More from New Orleans after this. Third and long. They send Godwin in motion. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. Oh, got him again the second time with a sack on this opening drive. This is a great reminder of why it's so important to have great offensive tackles. When you get beat so fast off the edge, the quarterback has nowhere to go in the pocket to escape, and that's what happens.
On fourth down, Chase McLaughlin in for the Bucks. This one from 41 yards out. McLaughlin's kick is good. And the Buccaneers are on the board. It's 7-3. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes Hill on the return. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. The Saints offense ready to see the football for the second time. They'll do so with first and ten. They'll start this one on the ground with Kamara. And a good run there. Going to get him five yards. They'll break the huddle. It's second and five. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. Throwing now from the gun. And it'll be a short pickup that's not enough for the first down. Third and a yard. The tight end Moreau is in motion. recovered by one of his teammates now obviously there's never a good time to fumble the ball it's probably the thing that teams stress the most is ball security but it makes it a little bit easier knowing that your own team was able to fall on top of it and at least you can maintain possession they'll work the middle here with Camaro and some space opens as he's brought down following a gain of six They'll come up now for second down and four. He'll look to throw. Quick throw here is complete. And a good job rallying to the football. Holding just a gain of a yard and sets up third down. When a defense has speed to the ball like this group does, it makes these wide receiver screens really challenging because all those fast linebackers and defensive backs that are chasing the ball carrier, the offensive line are the ones responsible for them, and sometimes that's just a speed mismatch, and they can't get out in front. He'll try and get there on the ground. Ten yards on the scramble there, and he picks up the first down. Great job here by the quarterback on third and short. Knowing that if nothing's there downfield, he can pick this up with his legs. And not only is he able to pick up the first down, he gets a whole lot more than that. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. A give running right with Kamara. And he tries to get back to the line of scrimmage, but will not happen here. I think he's going to lose a yard. The speed and the get-off by the big interior defensive tackle, Mike, I mean, he got through there so fast, he almost took the handoff himself. Second and 11. He'll drop to throw. Shaheed with the catch.
They've converted twice on third down on this drive. Now facing third and three. They'll try and run for this with Kamara. And that call will not get it done. The defense ready, stopping him behind the line of scrimmage. And it sets up fourth down. This is one of those down and distances where the offense really could either run or pass, but give credit to the defense. They sold out to stop the run, and boy, were they right. They take them down for a loss. A field goal, no gimme from this distance. They'll go on fourth down. Olave is the motion man. Rattler now back to throw. He manages to get the throw away and completes it. And they're going to get this all the way down inside the five. And it's the arm talent, Mike. It's on full display. His ability to step up in the pocket, get everything behind that ball, and throw a laser on a line accurately downfield. That's not a throw that all quarterbacks in the NFL are capable of making and I think it was pretty good defense just turned out to be a better throw this has been some kind of march downfield now can they pay it off with six it's first and goal trying to fight his way into the end zone but they will mark him short down at the one The ball a little closer now. It is second and goal. One more time for Williams. And this time he's in. Jamal Williams. Touchdown six. A lot of big bodies down there, but at the end of the day, the one that mattered, the one with the ball, finds the end zone for the touchdown. Yeah, once that back gets the ball, Mike, he's just looking for a little crack of daylight, and he's thinking, I'm going to run into it and just hope I come out the other side. And in this case, the other side's the end zone, and they get six. On comes Blake Krupe for the PAT. The kick is good. The Saints extend their advantage to 14-3. to three. The kickoff team is out on the field and we're back to it as the kicks away on the return here comes Tucker a good return as he takes it across the 30 the Bucks offense ready for their second possession they trail now 14 to 3 so an 11 point deficit as they start things out with first and 10 Mayfield a short one there to Otten and that keeps him ahead of schedule that's a first down completion of seven yards here's second and three to go on the bootleg it's Mayfield Throw left side, pulled in by Evans. That's his third catch of this first half, and good enough for a first down. Here comes Otten in motion. On first down is Mayfield. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. I got high standards for offensive players, but in this case, Mike, I think I'm giving all the credit to the defender. He timed that one up perfectly, and 
what could have been an easy play ends up as an incomplete. On second down, Baker. And they'll hold him to a gain of just a couple and sets up third down. Mayfield. And this is going to be incomplete. That's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively, setting up a fourth down. Sometimes it's those footsteps. I don't care how long you've been playing or at what level you've been playing at. And that defender's bearing down. You really get a good idea what guys are willing to go through contact to secure a catch, and in this case, what guys are unwilling. The drive begins at the 20. Here's first and 10. To throw, it's Rattler. That's complete. It is Foster Moreau. Second down and three. Here's Rattler. Oh, we try to swing it outside and it's intercepted. And he is going to score a pick six for the touchdown. The pick six for the score, Greg. That is the one thing this offense did not want to see. And it really is demoralizing to see that happen in that spot. Absolutely, Mike. And that's one of those cases where you just would like to see the quarterback say, all right, I'm going to live to play another day. Don't force that throw. Don't try to make a play that's not there. Because not only do you turn the ball over, you give them an easy six. And on the other side, the defense, what a moment. Uplifting for them. Big momentum building. Yeah, and that's the way games are shaped in this league, Mike. I mean, you find yourself able to capitalize on a mistake by an offense. You get yourself an easy touchdown. All of a sudden, your sideline finds themselves completely rejuvenated. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Here comes Hill on the return. He'll work his way across the 25-yard line. The Saints offense getting things in order as they trot out for this next possession. They'll start it here with a first and ten. They'll motion their tight end, Johnson. To the left side into the hands of Olave. And he's going to get this to the 37-yard line. They'll come up here first and 10. Throwing is Rattler. 
And a good effort there defensively. It's knocked away and incomplete. Linebackers in general have the reputation of being very instinctive players. And I think we saw it there on the need to diagnose and read the play almost before it even starts. It allows them to be in the right spot at the right time and allows them to make the play. Now Rattler going to throw. Pass is caught by Olave. Well, they hook up again, second time on this drive. And this one's good for 18 yards and a first down. There's a reason certain guys, Mike, just always seem to be open. It's really because route running is more art than it is science. How do you manipulate the defense to find open spots or win versus man to create separation and earn the trust of your quarterback? Slot receiver headed right. Looking to throw. Rattler got it into the hands of Olave. Here's second and six. Throwing now is Rattler. And open downfield, it's Johnson. He's got a touchdown on the books from earlier, and that catch gets him a first down. Really nice answer to the previous drive from this quarterback. You want to play at this league, and you want to play for a long time? You better have a short-term memory because mistakes are going to happen. Really nice job here bouncing back, putting together a promising drive, and he's open to come away with a touchdown of his own. Back to the air one more time. His pass taken in by Shaheed. And he will get into the end zone. Rashid Shaheed. Touchdown, New Orleans. Mike, we used to have a saying that it was the responsibility of the receiver to run the route through the eyes of the quarterback. And I think this is a great example here. Two guys clearly on the same page. Quarterback expected his target to be in a certain place at a certain time. He's there. Ball's delivered accurately. He's able to pick up the rest with his legs, and that's a big-time connection for the touchdown. Groupy able to add the extra point. And the Saints are out to a 21-10 lead. Still a little time. Final minute of this first half. We'll see if they can do anything with this kickoff that is coming their way. And he'll work this one past the 25 to right about the 28-yard line. The Bucks offense going to see what they can do in the final minute of this first half. They'll look to make some inroads here. They're down 21-10 to 10 in this one as they come up on a first down. Mayfield. They'll set up the screen to White. And they'll mark him down just shy of the 40. Now the Bucks will take their first time out as they get it right at the 30-second mark of this first half. So from the 39, they come up on first and 10. From the gun, it's Mayfield. He'll find his running back, White. Timeout here at Tampa Bay. That is their second. The clock is stopped with 26 seconds until the break.
After the loss of three, it is second and 13. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. And it's complete to the sideline. Nice job getting both feet down inbounds. It's pretty evident, Mike, when a quarterback and his wide receiver are operating on the exact same page. The anticipation, the timing, the accuracy of the, both the route and the ball. And when they're working together like this, that's the definition of teach tape. From the gun on third down, it's Mayfield. The Buccaneers forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 16 seconds to go in the opening half. Set to go now on first and ten. Throwing is Baker. They'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. Certainly not one of his better throws, but what I've loved out of this quarterback today, Mike, was just how aggressive he's remained throughout the entire course of the game. Continue to push the ball downfield. Even if it falls incomplete, it opens up everything else in this passing game, and they've had their way so far today. And he missed it. It's no good. And this stays a two-score game. Man, that would have been such a nice boost for this group going into halftime. The snap was good. The hold was good. He just couldn't quite get it through the uprights. first down they'll start out with Kamara we'll get this to about midfield the big defensive lineman Vita Vea on the stop Here's a second and nine. They're going to go right back to Kamara. And he's going to be taken down as time runs out on this first half of play. So we've reached halftime here in this 11-point game. As we'll send you over to Orlando. Jonathan Coachman standing by. He's got the EA Sports halftime report. Coach. All right, Mike, thanks very much, and welcome in, everyone, to our EA Sports Halftime Report. These two teams leaving the tunnel, and we'll head out with them. It's time to send it back over to Mike Tarika and Greg Olson. Coach, thank you. Back here on EA Sports as we count down to the kickoff of the second half. Both teams ready to get back at it as we get back underway here on EA Sports. Now return coming from the 7. And it'll be brought down past the 25. Decent field position to start this drive. The Buccaneers offense ready to get going again. They'll have it first in this third quarter. They'll start out first down and 10. On play action, Mayfield. Godwin working the right side. We'll try again here. Second and ten. 
They send Evans in motion. Second down throw for Mayfield. And that'll go for a gain of seven. And it's going to set up third down. They'll try to run for it. Here's White. And he's going to have a Buccaneers first down by about a yard. So they pick it up on third and two. Mayfield to throw. Open man downfield. That's Godwin. And he's taken down inside the opponent's 35. While everybody wants to attack the middle of the field, you just have to make sure you don't do it recklessly. You want to make sure you protect both the ball and your receiver. And in this case, he does both. Puts it on the money, picks up a big game. It's a three tight end look as they have it first and 10. They bring their tight end right. Now it's White. And a good job following his blockers. A gain of seven. It'll be second down. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Throwing on second down, Mayfield. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. I can't tell you, Mike, how many of these offensive skill players around the league, they look at man coverage as like a personal offense. They, they, they can't imagine that a defensive coordinator would say, hey, we're just going to have one guy defend you all by himself. And... After that last completion on the way back to the hole, I think he had a few choice words for him. I think he said, hey, man, you can't guard me one-on-one. -on -one. You better ask your coach for some help, because if he doesn't, you're going to be in for a long day. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Here's Mayfield. Over the middle, that's Godwin. Second down and eight. To throw is Mayfield. Get this complete right side to Otten. And he's into the end zone. Cade Otten. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Greg, sometimes we say it too often. That was an important drive. That one really felt important for them to edge a little bit closer. Yeah, now the question is, Mike, yeah, the offense does their job. But can the defense get a stop? They've got to continue to get the ball back to their offense. Let them build on that previous drive because they've still got some work to do. Mayfield to the line. The Bucks will try for two. He'll look to throw. That is incomplete. And the two-point conversion is unsuccessful. I don't mind the play call, but something you have to keep in mind, Mike, is when you decide to pass this close to the goal line, all of the space is the width of the field. There's not a lot of depth to the field. So that's why the timing, the anticipation, the accuracy of the quarterback, it all has to be on point. It wasn't on that last play, and that's why it ultimately failed.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. On the return, it's Rashid Shaheed. And their drive will begin at the 30-yard line. The Saints offense and Spencer Rattler set to take over once more. And he has been in control of this offense. Want to run you through some of the action from earlier on. You've got the two touchdown passes, over 200 passing yards. He has been excellent all game long. Here's first and ten. To throw, it's Rattler. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. He's usually such a reliable target in the passing game, Mike. We just don't see him struggle to come down with catches like that all too often. And when you're one of the go-to guys on your team, I know the hit's coming, but guess what? It feels a lot better after you take that hit after a catch than it does after a drop. They're trying to take the top off the defense, make them feel that vertical threat and soften everything up. Wasn't a ton of separation downfield, at least not what they would have preferred. And ends it up being a wasted down. Well, can't afford another incompletion here. Quickly, it is third and ten. Open man is Shaheed. That's complete. And he will take this one in. 70 yards. Touchdown, New Orleans. Third down. My focus, Greg, was on picking up the first down. Forget that. They go down the field and in the end zone for a touchdown. Yeah, and I don't think it was just your focus, Mike. I think in this case, it was the defense's focus. They're so worried about where that first down marker was that they allowed them to get that ball up and over the top for the deep strike touchdown. Groupie now on for the extra point. It's up and good. The Saints will extend this third quarter lead. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. Now, here comes a return from the nine. And he'll be brought down just beyond the 25-yard line. Baker Mayfield and the Bucks ready to get back to work. They'll begin with first and ten. They send Evans in motion. Mayfield to throw it here on first down. And a big strike for good yardage there all the way up to midfield. Just seems like every year, Mike, the tight end position just continues to grow within the passing game and establishes a bigger and bigger role. And listen, I know I'm biased, but if you want to have a good passing game, you better have a good tight end. A fresh set of downs to work with. It is first down and ten. To throw is Mayfield. The tackle's going to be made down at the 40-yard line. Nice first down pick up there by Jalen McMillan. And, Mike, as he tries to find his role in this Bucks offense, I think a lot of his opportunities are going to come inside at that slot position. Not only his ability to find soft spots and have good instincts to get himself open and uncover, but also the quickness to win man-to-man. -man. And that combination is going to get him a lot of targets 
Remember, he had five receiving touchdowns each of the last two seasons back in college. And he can't hang on through the contact. It's incomplete. What a good job defensively to meet him just as the ball was arriving. And it'll be second down. Now, Mayfield. He'll be forced to just throw that one away. It's incomplete. It's been a bit of a pedestrian game for this quarterback and ultimately this passing game here today, Mike. And I know they all would have loved to connect on that deep throw. I think that stat sheet would have looked a whole lot different, but just a little off in their execution and leads to an incompletion. Here comes Otten in motion. On third down, they'll set up to throw. This one complete to Palmer. A gain of 17 yards. It's a first down for Tampa Bay. One of the things that makes him one of the best receivers in the NFL, Mike, is his ability to create separation downfield. He makes it so easy for his quarterback to not only find him, but to constantly create a nice throwing window like he did right there. On first and ten, here's Baker. Back to the sideline and intercepted. And the Saints are going to take over here at their own 22. So not a lot of yards on the return, Mike, but that's okay. The number one thing, end up with the ball in your hands. And in this case, mission accomplished, and his guys are headed off the field to celebrate. The Saints offense and receiver Rashid Shaheed set for their next drive. They built a nice lead for themselves here. They'll try to add to that, beginning with first down. Throwing is Rattler. Over the middle, that's the tight end, Johnson. And he'll be taken down all the way up past the 45. Mike, did you see how hyped the sideline got after that run after catchman? I thought the bench was going to run out onto the field to celebrate. He refused to go down on first contact and second contact, for that matter. A give up the middle with Camaro. And he'll work forward for about three. It's second down. The tight end Moreau is in motion. Short pass taken in by the tight end. And they'll work this close to a first down, maybe just a tad short. Here's third down and a few inches. The tight end Moreau is in motion. going to be incomplete that's great work to get in there and make things difficult defensively setting up a fourth down so they decide to be aggressive there on third down mike now the question is do they maintain that aggressive style on fourth down or do they decide to punt it's going to be a really interesting play call here as it brings up fourth and short and we will not have a return here this one angle out of bounds Here's the Tampa Bay offense. They're going to take over once more. They'll see if they can put something together here, beginning with first and ten.
That's Palmer, the man in motion. On first down is Mayfield. Gets this one into the hands of his receiver, Godwin. And that keeps him ahead of schedule. That's a first down completion of seven yards. Here's a second and three forthcoming. Shotgun snap and a give to White. And this will be a Bucks first down. He has this one past the 35 to about the 37. Throwing is Mayfield. And that one knocked away. It's incomplete. He was looking for Rashad White out of the backfield. And that will lead to a second down. Nice job there by the defender. He's able to break up the pass, but I think if he's able to get there just a little bit sooner, now you can get two hands on the ball and give yourself a chance to come down with an even bigger play and come away with the pick. On second down, Baker. They'll set up the screen to White. They'll get maybe three out of that one, and it's going to set up third down. Baker to throw. He'll try to run for it. So we are through three. Back with more after the break. You're tuned in to the NFL on EA Sports. Trailing late, they've got to go here. It's fourth down. He'll go. It's White. And the defense all over this one. They knock him down. It'll go down as a loss of two. So this play by the middle linebacker is all about play recognition. Reminds me of a former teammate, Luke Keekley. He knew the play before it was going to happen. Watch him. He diagnoses. He tracks the ball and bang, makes a huge tackle, short of the yard to gain, forces the turnover on downs. The home team's offense and their wide receiver getting ready to get back to work. We'll have a short field in front of them as they try to extend this lead out further. So they come to the line for first down and 10. Rattler now back to throw. Shahid with the catch. And they'll take this down inside the 35. An interesting decision there by the play caller to put this ball in the air. Mike, you're up by two scores. Traditional wisdom says, hey, we're up by two scores late in the fourth quarter. We've got to keep this clock moving. You don't want to risk an incompletion. Now, they convert. They're able to secure the catch and pick up a fresh set of downs. That's going to enable them to continue to burn more clock and without a stop. And he's going to take this all the way home. Alvin Kamara, touchdown six. Greg, that's one of those scores where it's not completely over, but it's getting to be about that time. Yeah, Mike, I just think they're entering miracle stage right now, and I just don't think there's any coming back from this deficit. Groupie now for the extra point. He gets it to go, and the Saints will open it up even further here in this fourth quarter.
the kickoff team is out on the field. And we're back to it as the kick's away. This taken in at the 8-yard line. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Buccaneers' offense about ready to take over once more. Things not looking good. But see if they get the turnaround going here. They'll start this drive with first down. Out of the shotgun, Mayfield. And that's going to be incomplete, but a flag down in the backfield. That's the area we usually see holding. Throwing is Baker. They'll look to set up the screen here. Ah, they smelled the screen and took care of it. Blown up in the backfield. Well, the best screen plays, of course, you want the offensive lineman out in front of the running back. They act as his escort, his lead blockers. But what you can't afford is for the defenders to be in the backfield and get to the running back. Because those offensive linemen, they can't help him at all. And that's going to be incomplete. Coverage was good that time. The contact jarring the ball loose and forcing third down. He may have trusted his arm strength a little bit too much on that throw. Two defenders in the area. Work to your check down. Work to an open receiver. I think in this case, he forces that ball, and ultimately, he's lucky he got away with it. Rush comes. They're setting up the screen. Trying to find some seam out there, but he will not. They get him behind the line, and fourth down is coming up. I think it's safe to assume that is not how they envisioned that third down play call going, and now after going backwards, it's going to bring up fourth down. The Buccaneers getting their puncher out there as he'll hit this from just outside of his own goal line. To return, it's Shahid. And he's going to be brought down after a short return. And that's where his team will get possession of the football. Now, out comes the New Orleans offense. They're ready to take over once again. And as we look back now, Greg, at how we got here, we got a ton of highlights of the offense so far. In particular, great passing. Yeah, and if you want to score points in the NFL, Mike, there's no secret. You've got to do it primarily through the air. And... With three touchdowns here so far, that's exactly what we've seen. It's been deep balls. It's been intermediate shots. It's been good run after catch. This has really been high-level offense on display right from the jump. First and 10. The tight end, Moreau, is in motion. Here's Kamara. He did a good job of making one man miss, but could not get away from this defense in the end. It turns into a loss of yardage. When you can get this level of run support out of your secondary, Mike, man, what an advantage for any defense. This defensive back clearly reads run, gets off his block, and he's able to take down the back for a loss of yards. Look at the throw, Rattler. That is caught downfield. It's Johnson, the tight end. And he'll be taken down. When he continues to play at this level, Mike, it just makes this team so hard to beat. It's the combination of leading both long, sustained drives and then being able to strike in bunches, generate big, explosive plays, primarily through the air, it puts so much pressure on these defenses, and with the way today's game is gone, it doesn't look like he has any plans on slowing down. So the big play gets him down close, and now it's first and goal. Here's Rattler, and he's into the end zone yet again. Alvin Kamara, 
touchdown, New Orleans. He had the touchdown run earlier. Now add a TD reception. That is yet another touchdown pass. What a game he is having, throwing his fourth touchdown score of the game. It's one thing, Mike, to throw four touchdowns, but it's really the ease in which he's carved this defense up that has stood out the most. The defense has had no answers for this passing game, and he has just completely had his way with this group. Both teams ready to go once more as the kick's away. On the return, here comes Tucker. Oh, he's got room past the 30. And he's brought down right at the 35-yard line. The Buccaneers offense ready to come back out for this next possession. They'll try to establish some tempo as they start this one with first and 10. From the gun, it's Mayfield. That's his tight end, Otten. That's a nice pickup on a first down throw. It's a gain of eight. Here's second and two. Here's Mayfield working from the pistol. He finds his tight end, Keith. And they'll pick up the first down, a gain of about four. I think they're going to have to be more creative here on the back end with the types of coverages they show this quarterback. When you just show pre-snap, it is straight man coverage, and then you stay in it once the ball is snapped. It just makes it so easy on these quarterbacks, Mike, to just find the matchup that they like and exploit it change the look pre-snap to post-snap mix in zone mix in man they got to make it more challenging on the quarterback going forward here's a second and six mayfield this one caught left side by evan and they'll whistle him down, but not before he picks up a first down after a gain of seven. Here's Mayfield. Now he takes off. The best quarterbacks don't see the rush. They feel the rush, and that's exactly what this guy was able to do here. He's able to escape the initial pressure and immediately realizes, I got some space out in front of me. Picks up a solid gain here on first down. They'll work now on second and four. Now Mayfield. Oh, a lot of chances on that one. It was bouncing around, but it falls incomplete. He was trying to fit that one in to Mike Evans. And it's going to bring up a third down. To throw is Mayfield. That one complete. It's the tight end, Otten. That's catch three just on this drive. And it gets his team a first down. When you're running a crossing route versus man coverage, you understand that there's going to be nobody waiting for you on the far side of the field. So if you can create separation on your man defender and separate away, there's a lot of green grass, and that's where the quarterback went with the ball. 
They field to throw on first and ten. To the left side to Godwin. An enviable spot to operate from. Here's second and inches. On second down, a run with White. And the Buccaneers are going to have a first and goal coming up. They try to finish off this drive with six points. That's Palmer, the man in motion. Mayfield to throw. He's got it at the three. And he's going to be down close to the goal line. Good job defensively to make sure he did not get to the end zone. From the one, second in goal. He'll try to run with White. And that big offensive line. Clearing space. He's in. Rashad White. Touchdown, Tampa. McLaughlin now for the extra point. The kick is good. And the Buccaneers are able to edge a bit closer. So time here for the onside kick just in front of the two-minute warning. The kickoff unit is out there, and they'll send this one away. And he'll be taken down as the clock ticks towards two minutes to play. The home team's offense and their quarterback Set to take the field once more. And this defense might be about ready to wave the white flag. Nothing they have tried to throw at him has been successful. He just processes things so quickly, making the right read seemingly every time. They'll break the huddle. Coming up now for first and ten. Right here with Camara, and he's going to be taken down, and that will take us to the two-minute warning. They'll come up on a second down and eight. In motion is Hill. They'll go again here with Camara. And he's bottled up after a gain of a yard. What can they do here on third down and seven? It'll be a run out of the gun with Kamara. And it looks like he's going to have that first down. He will, not by a whole lot, but he's got it enough. And they convert on third down. <laughs> on the handoff, it's Kamara. Not much to speak of on that one. Maybe a gain of a yard. 
It's second down. So this one, a win for the Saints. This was a game where both offenses were up and down the field, marching the ball at will, matching each other point for point in the end. Got a few more defensive stops than their opponents did. And that is the difference in this one. And that'll do it for my partner, Greg Olson. For our entire team, I'm Mike Tirico. This has been a presentation of the NFL on EA Sports. The Saints are winners, as we say so long from New Orleans.